and then it will be totally dependent on the evaluation sequence where we will have to consider the priorities brackets will have the topmost priority followed by multiplication and division and then <coughs> plus and minus multiplication division they are equal priority and plus and minus are again equal priority to be scanned from left to right so we are not going to jump to the brackets directly instead we will have to travel from left to right see two consecutive operators if equal pr uh, priority operators are there then you are required to evaluate the left one like in this case the evaluation sequence will go like this is minus and minus so first minus will be evaluated then you have got minus and star when you try to evaluate star you will find that it is star and slash again equal priority among them you will have to evaluate the left one that is star so it becomes e1 minus e2 slash a star now it is multiplication and division so division should be per, uh, sorry subtraction and division so division should be performed division and multiplication so division should be performed so it becomes e1 minus e3 star a minus b star c then again minus and multiplication so multiplication should be done first multiplication and bracket so bracket should be evaluated now bracket is higher priority inside the bracket minus and star so star should be evaluated it becomes e1 minus e3 star a minus e4 then multiplication but minus inside the bracket so it is e1 minus e3 star e5 then it will be e1 minus e6 e7 is the answer and once we do this particular evaluation sequence then converting it to postfix or prefix will be easy job because now you will have to travel in the reverse direction like for postfix you can start from e7 which is going to be e1 e6 minus okay, okay in postfix it is operand 1 operand 2 and then operator so it is going to be e1 e6 minus which will be equal to e1 is a b minus e6 is e3 e5 star minus so it will be a b minus now e3 e3 is e2 a slash so it is e2 a slash e5 is a e4 minus so it is a e4 minus star minus which will be equal to a b minus e2 e2 is cd star a slash a e4 e4 is bc star that's it and then minus star minus that will be the postfix and in prefix you will have to keep the operator before the two operands ok make a note and of course this can be also expressed in the form of a tree like the final answer e7 is subtraction of e1 and e6 where e1 is again subtraction of a and b whereas e6 is the product of e3 and e5 e3 is division of e2 and a and e2 is multiplication of c and d e5 is subtraction of a and e4 e4 is nothing but product of b and c where we can express it in the form of the tree ok make a note
this is something that we have already discussed actually Even that tree is drawn using the evaluation sequence only. Every time for each expression evaluated, you have the corresponding operator and the two operands which are written respectively as left and right. Then again even will be operator minus and two operands. E6 is operator star and two operands shown in the graphical form. It is not essential uh, necessary that we should show these. ये नहीं दिखा है तो भी चलता दिस इज जस्ट फॉर अवर रेफरेंस यू हैव लर्न डी एच जी टी दिस इज कॉल्ड एज अ बाइनरी ट्री हियर वील बी रिफरिंग टू इट एज द एक्सप्रेशन ट्री and now we come to the most important part that is to see the algorithm by which this conversion will take place this particular procedure will be used only for the paper work for writing the program it's of no use we'll use the similar one understand it see it first i will give you time to do the job on your own i will be even giving some rules by which this entire process is to be carried out and the rules will be dependent on what we are reading actually we will be reading the entire string and then going through it character by character dependent on which character we receive of course there are only two types of uh, characters which we are going to receive uh, so far as expression is concerned it is going to be either the operand or operator of course we will be even getting opening or closing bracket so in all four types it could be operator it could be operand it could be opening bracket and it could be closing bracket and every time we are required to take the decision based on what we are receiving to make use of this or to perform this particular conversion we will be using two stacks stack as we know it is going to be a data structure where we will be entering the data from one end and removing it from the same end it is going to be last in first out we will be using two stacks one for the operators and other for the operands i will call them respectively as stack 1 and stack 2 stack 1 will contain only one operator so it is going to be a character type stack whereas stack 2 is going to contain the operand which will be afterwards becoming like if you observe we had something like e1 minus e6 and e1 by itself was not a single character it was a complete string so operands when we say it is going to be stack of the strings okay just remember that now as we read the first one a that's why i was insisting that travel from left to right i will be traveling into it from left to right only i get the first one as a which is operand that operand should be whenever you read operand that should be always pushed to the operand stack it goes to operand stack so we have got first rule that is if operand push it to stack 2 
okay don't draw these figures you can take down the rules but those rules also if you write with me there will be problem because i will have to consider different cases ye ek rule theek hai ye to hamesha itna hi rahega all the operands will be directly pushed to the stack now when i get operator that is a second case so if operator now there will be cases if stk2 stk1 is empty then the rule is push that operator agar stack empty hai like minus mujhe mila stack is empty so i will be pushing it then i get b which is operand again by first rule it will be pushed to the stack then i get minus it is operator and the stack is not empty if stack is not empty then you will have to check what is there inside the stack that is else we'll say pop say c you pop the operator from here which i will be calling it as c now it will all depend on what that c is i am leaving one line here jo ke baad mein likhunga main i will just say that if priority of c is less than priority of the current operator iski priority agar current operator jo minus hai usse kam hai but still we are not into that case so there will be again some lines left and else when the priority of c is not less than the operator current priority in that case we say that pop two operands from stk2 do operands ko nikal lo form postfix and push it to stk2 meaning that i will require here now operator operand 1 operand 2 a table this minus will come out kyunki current operator is also minus this operator minus has come out its priority is not less than the priority of the current operator so we are required to pop two operands so operator that we have popped is minus two operands are respectively b and a first we will be popping the second operand and then the first one of course form post fix that is ab minus and push it to the operand stack and again check now stk1 is empty because we have removed minus so by our first rule if stack is empty push that operator so ultimately kya ho gaya first minus has come out stack became empty and the second minus has gone inside then we get c operand will be directly pushed to the operand stack then we get star that's why i was always considering two operators one which is in the stack and one which we have so two operators like it now stack is not empty so we say pop say c it comes out to be minus right now what is the current operator it is star so this condition will be satisfied now priority of minus is less than priority of star in that case push that c back to the stack and push the current operator fir se us minus ko stack mein dal do okay and then push star on to it lower priority pe higher priority ja sakti hai equal priority nahi jaati so star has been pushed then we get d then we get d that d will always go to the operand stack operand have then we get slash stack is not empty we pop we get star priority of c that is star less than priority of slash no so star will come out and we are required to pop two operands so star comes out we pop two operands which are d and c 
D and C. Form post fix that is C D star and push it to the operand stack. We again go back and check for slash. Stack is still not empty. We pop. We get minus. We get minus. Okay. Minus has got less priority than slash. So we come to that particular case when priority of minus is less than priority of slash. In that case minus should be put back to the stack and slash also should go to the stack. So minus we push it back and slash will go to the stack. We continue, we go ahead, we get A, operand, it will be pushed to the operand stack. Then we get star. It is star, it is operator, stack is not empty, we pop. We will be popping in that case slash. So slash will come out, priority of slash less than priority of star falls, we come here, slash will be coming out will pop two operands and those two operands will be second one is A and the first one is CD star. So corresponding to this slash these two will come out. Corresponding to these two you will have to convert it to the postfix which is going to be CD star A slash and push it to the operand stack. Okay, then we have the current operator as star. Stack is still not empty. We pop this minus. Minus has got less priority than star. So minus will be pushed and star will be pushed on top. Got it? Okay, so we are in these cases. Mein we come across the third case. That is if opening bracket. Like operand, opening bracket will be always pushed to stack 1. Kuch check bhi nahi karna padta. Stack mein kya hai, kya nahi hai, don't check anything. Whenever you get opening bracket, straight away push it to the operator stack. Then we get A, operand will be pushed to the operand stack. Then we get minus. Now when we get minus, we will be again here. It is operator. Stack is not empty. We pop. And in this case, I cannot come to check the priority because I will be popping opening bracket. And when opening bracket is popped, the decision will not be on that priority. But I will straight away say that if C is opening bracket, then push C and push that operator else yeah. so opening bracket agar stack mein hoga so the next operator will be directly pushed to the stack in this case minus will be pushed to the stack then we get B operand will be pushed to the operand stack we get star operator hai stack is not empty we pop we get minus operator it's not opening bracket priority of minus less than priority of star yes so minus will be put to the stack star will be put to the stack then we get C ok and then we get closing bracket that is case 4 if we get closing bracket then we say pop operator two operands form postfix and push to stk2 and keep on doing this till we pop opening bracket rule says that jab bhi closing bracket milega ek operator nikalo so it comes out to be star do operands nikalo C and B. So corresponding to this star C and B will be popped. Corresponding postfix will be B C star will be pushed to the stack. 
but we haven't yet popped opening bracket so pop minus and two operands so it will be minus a and b c star form postfix and push it to the operand stack it will be a b c star minus and then we pop opening bracket we stop okay this loop will continue till we pop opening bracket and then we reach backslash zero so we stop because the input string is over once the input string is over then you are required to empty the operator stack so when we get closing bracket you are required to pop the operators one by one from the stack because on minus we have pushed star we have pushed c to stack 2 and when we get closing bracket we are required to pop each operator one by one corresponding to that two operands from stack so c and b operand 2 and operand 1 form postfix that is bc star and push it to the operand stack then pop minus second operator will be uh, second operand will be bc star first one will be a corresponding postfix will be a bc star minus and push it to the operand stack and then you will pop opening bracket okay and then you stop this loop okay now the string ends because after closing bracket we don't have anything now you are required to uh, remove each operator one by one till the stack becomes empty so star will come out second operator will be uh, second operand will be a b c star minus and the first one would be c d what was that cd star a slash form postfix push it then pop minus pop two operands form postfix push it operator stack is empty stop so in all four cases whether it is operand operator opening bracket or closing bracket operand will be always pushed to operand stack opening bracket will be always pushed to operator stack unconditional when it is operator there will be cases if the operator stack is empty then push the operator to the operator stack that is stack 1 if the stack is not empty then remove the top operator if it is opening bracket then on opening bracket you can push any operator so you will be pushing the uh, opening bracket first which you have removed and the operator also if it is not opening bracket then it will be some operator in that case check the priority if the priority of the operator which has come out through the stack and the current operator if the priority of the operator inside the stack is less then pop uh, push that particular operator as well as the new operator and when the priority inside the stack is equal or higher then you are required to pop two operands from the operand stack form the postfix expression and push it to the operand stack this is the entire algorithm ए बड़बड़ न करे करो का डीवाई पाटिल है क्या हुआ रे मुझे पूछना फिर तू फीस उसे दे रहा है कि मुझे दे रहा है सॉल्व कर रहा है अभी तक सो टू स्टैक्स विच आर टू बी ऑपरेटेड हियर एंड first stack is simple a character type stack whereas the second one we have shown it to be a string type but we won't be pushing the string to the stack instead of that we will push the start address so make it a character pointer type of stack though when we show it we are actually showing the string fully actually it will contain the address and at that location the entire string will be present okay we will be going again for the dynamic allocation as we complete the lecture you will understand but before that i will have to write 4 plus 4 eight functions for the stack operations because those two stacks are of different type first one is of character type second is character pointer type but we need not write the separate functions for stack full and stack empty because of the simple relation that the number of operators and number of operands in the given expression they just differ by value 1 जितने ऑपरेटर्स होंगे दैट प्लस वन विल बी द नंबर ऑफ ऑपरेंट्स हमेशा बराबर ना एवरी ऑपरेटर इज गोइंग टू सेपरेट आउट टू ऑपरेंट्स 
and again that term will be considered as operand so if you check number of operators plus 1 is equal to number of operands so ultimately both the stacks are of nearly the same size there is not much deviation into that so i will start with saying that say let there be some size as 50 and i will use the functions like stack empty which is common for both the stacks based on top function which we have already written it is return top equal to equal to minus 1 similarly stack full will be again based on top when top reaches the last position in that array the stack will be full so top equal to size minus 1 are the first two functions which will be used commonly for the character stack as well as character pointer stack no need to write stk1 empty and stk2 empty like okay with the condition reason that they differ only by value 1 and as it is we are providing some oversize next i go for function push and i will call it as push opr if you recall at that time when we had considered the stacks i have precisely shown as what changes should be made if the type of the data which is going to the stack changes top will still remain as integer pointer okay whereas the array and value they will change so in this case the array stk will be of character type it will be int star top and the value that we want to push is again character type a void type function will check if not <coughs> stk full if the stack is not full then increment top and place the value at that top position same function that we had discussed in the stacks when we have implemented them using array similarly pop opr would be a function to which the array will be passed which is of character type and it is int star top return value will be again character type so we will have char val and if not stack empty then pick up the value decrement top and return that value which is going to be of course the character which is representing the operator right take a note वैसे भी मैं वो पूरा एक्सप्लेन करने वाला हूं फिर से सो दो वेर नॉट देयर फॉर द स्टैक फंक्शंस they can remember that these are the four functions which are to be used for any stack operation it will be a menu driven program where four menus will be there to check whether stack is empty stack is full push the value and pop at that time we had considered integer type stack and then this was changed to int int and this was changed to int int and int बस 
if it is float type then those underlying types are to be changed to float and eventually you will accept that if you have understood this type changing for writing the functions i need not write the functions for the operand stack because i will be now making the changes exactly or at those underlined positions because the array will be character star type char star type array value that is pushed will be char star type okay body of the function does not change at all whereas in pop operand the return type will be character star array type is character star and value will be character star so when you are actually writing the code it will be 2 minutes job to write all these functions six functions actually stack empty stack full work common for both the stacks so push opd function that is push operand will be simply modified like this char star stk char star val that's it body remains the same and pop opd return type is char star array type is char star value is char star that's it so aap abhi bhi fir se mat likhna you need not write this part body remains the same push opd pop opd just write the prototype of it नोटबुक में तो कट पेस्ट नहीं कर पाओगे आप अदरवाइज यू वुड हैव डन दैट ऑल्सो डोंट फॉरगेट दिस कैर स्टार हाँ so to implement that entire logic where we were using push and pop operation every now and then we are ready with all the functions stack empty stack full push opr pop opr push opd pop opd now observe that when i am going through this particular string and when i receive the first character which is a in this case which is a simple character and i am required to push it to the operand stack whereas the operand stack cannot contain that character it should be a string and its address should be pushed see the difference i am getting only a character single character there is a difference between character and a string there is a difference between character a and string a because string a consumes two positions what it and so iska jo address hoga that should be pushed to the operand stack we are not pushing the string we are pushing its address so i require a function which is called as set to string that means convert a character to the string so allocate a memory of two bytes in the first position store the character in the second position put backslash 0 okay and return the start address so to string is a function which is going to return the character pointer for what for the character that is passed to it say p i am passing character p so this is a variable jisme ke wo character hoga i will declare some char star s and i will say s is equal to type casted as char star it is calloc 2 comma 
size of cat so allocate the memory for the array of characters having size as 2 and then at the first position put that character contents okay at the location pointed by s store that character and at the next location put backslash 0 so that character a will be converted to string a and its address that is s should be returned a function which we will require whenever we execute if operand push it to stk2 push opd before that i will have to convert it to string and then push directly push nahi hoga लॉजिक के लिखते वक्त ठीक है इफ इट इज ऑपरेंट पुश इट बट यहां पे एक स्टेप और आएगा टेक दैट कैरेक्टर कन्वर्ट इट टू स्ट्रिंग एंड देन पुश इट्स एड्रेस मेक नॉट टू स्ट्रिंग फंक्शन साइज ऑफ कैर at the location pointed by s store that character at the next location so it is not star s plus 1 star s plus 1 will be contents are incremented address should be incremented temporarily at the next address so s plus 1 and at that location store backslash 0 ultimately it is a change from character a to string a that is in this form and this address will be returned another function that comes into picture is rather a simple one called as priority of so if p is equal to plus or p equal to minus then i consider the priority value as 1 if p is equal to star or p is equal to slash then return 2 otherwise return 0 you yeah, actually otherwise we will never reach because i am calling priority only when it is operator so ye last return 0 to kabhi aayenge nahi ab priority is evoked only when it is operator okay and you can always i am not using the general concept of incoming priority and outgoing it's of no use without that also it can be done and this will be much easier than that incoming priority outgoing priority like that make a note priority plus and minus should have less priority than star and slash that's it opening closing bracket ko priority hum dete hi nahi hai then declare that raise to operator and assign the priority if there is operator raise to then there will be if p is equal to caret return 3 this is quite flexible oh? and then otherwise return 0 it is the topmost priority power operator which is not there in your c arithmetic me to nahi hai we are writing it in such a manner reason is even if the priority is change unhone agar kaha ke plus and star have higher priority than minus and slash to aapko sirf ye function badal raha hai 
it will be star and plus return two, minus and slash return one. Program will work accordingly. You don't have to touch any other part of the program except the priority function. Priority change कर दिए तो यहाँ change करना पड़ता है. Nowhere else. Anyway, this is not required. कैरेट ऑपरेटर थेरी में पूछते हैं वो प्रैक्टिकल्स में तो नहीं आएगा द वन मोर फंक्शन विच इज फॉर्म पोस्ट फिक्स जिसे हमें दो ऑपरेंट्स पास करने होंगे एक ऑपरेटर एंड इट विल गिव मी द कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग पोस्ट फिक्स एक्सप्रेशन सो टू दिस आई विल हैव टू पास द फर्स्ट ऑपरेट विच विल बी ऑफ कोर्स अ पॉइंटर कैरेक्टर पॉइंटर देन ऑपरेटर एंड देन ऑफ कोर्स द सेकेंड ऑपरेंट विच इज अगेन कैरेक्टर पॉइंटर वॉट आई विल रिटर्न is the postfix expression which is a string again a pointer to the character okay like in this case uh, suppose i consider whatever ab minus that was my first one and dusra tha kuch cd star a slash abc star minus star उसके बाद क्या माइनस था ओवरऑल क्या आता था हमारा सी डी स्टार ए स्लैश ए बी सी स्टार माइनस स्टार बराबर सो दिस वॉज माई ऑपरेंट वन दिस इज ऑपरेंट टू एंड दिस इज ऑपरेटर लास्ट में जो हुआ कौन क्या बीच में से आप कोई भी उठा सकते हो दैट्स नो इश्यू Like you can even have this as one, this as second, and operator. I am precisely taking the strings. वैसे ये भी तो लिया जा सकता है operand one, operand two, operator. लेकिन फिर वो characters हैं. I want strings. यहाँ दिखते वक्त तो वो character ही दिखते हैं. So operand one, operand two are strings. Result is also a string. Operator is a single character. Now I will declare. n1 n2 n3 एन थ्री एज थ्री इंटीजर्स एंड स्टार ओपीडी थ्री विच इज अ न्यू पॉइंटर दिस पॉइंटर विल पॉइंट टू द टोटल पोस्टफिक्स एक्सप्रेशन वेर एज ओपीडी वन इज पॉइंटिंग टू द फर्स्ट ऑफर एंड ओपीडी टू इज पॉइंटिंग टू द सेकेंड यूजिंग स्ट्रिंग फंक्शन आई कैन फाइंड आउट स्ट्रिंग लेंथ ऑफ ऑफर एंड वन And of course, string length of operand two. In this case, operand one is of length three. Operand two is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Got it, brother? Fourteen, fifteen. Ha, okay. Better. Three and eleven. What is the size of third? That is postfix. It is going to be these three plus these eleven plus one. Ultimately, n three will have size as n one plus n two plus one for that operator which we are going to put. Remember? Now, what is the memory required for this storage? You are required to store n three characters. But in one space, you need to backslash zero. So when I allocate the memory. For OPD three, it will be again char star type calloc. It is n three plus one size of char. N three is the actual length that I want to store plus one for backslash zero. Okay, so that much memory is allocated. This is OPD three. 
ओपीडी वन में मेरे पास अभी है ए बी माइनस पटना सीट ओपीडी टू में मेरे पास दूसरा होगा सो दिस इज ओपीडी वन इज पॉइंटिंग टू दिस ओपीडी टू इज पॉइंटिंग टू दिस इसमें मुझे पहले ये पार्ट चाहिए विच कैन बी इजिली डन थ्रू एस टी आर सी पी वाई ओपीडी थ्री कॉपी ओपीडी वन टू ओपीडी थ्री सो दिस विल बी कॉपीड नाउ इट शुड बी कॉन्कैटनेटेड बाय ओपीडी टू पोस्टफिक्स में ऑपरन वन ऑपरन टू देन ऑपरेटर सो आई कैन से एस टी आर कैट ओपीडी थ्री बाय ओपीडी टू सो पहला ऑपरन जाएगा दूसरा जाएगा और हमें पता है कि इसके आगे दो स्पेसेस और हैं एक ऑपरेटर के लिए और एक बैक स्लैश जीरो के लिए अभी तो बैक स्लैश जीरो यहां है क्या आप मुझे ये पोजीशन बता सकते हो बिकॉज आई वांट टू राइट बैक इस बैक स्लैश जीरो की जगह पे मुझे ऑपरेटर लिखना है अभी जो कि मैं कॉन्कैक्ट नहीं कर सकता क्योंकि वो स्ट्रिंग नहीं है इट्स अ सिंगल कैरेक्टर इसलिए कॉन्कैक्ट वोट वर्क सो आई विल हैव टू गो टू दैट पोजिशन सो आई विल हैव टू से समथिंग लाइक स्टार ऑफ OPD3 थ्री प्लस ये कितने कैरेक्टर्स है वो एन वन प्लस एन टू इफ एन वन प्लस एन टू कैरेक्टर्स आर देयर वॉट इज पोजिशन ऑफ दिस अरे ये एन वन है ये एन टू है मान लो ये थ्री है ये ट्वेल्व है कितना इलेवन सो ये फोर्टीन कैरेक्टर्स है सो वॉट इज पोजिशन ऑफ बैक्स लाइस जीरो अरे थ्री एंड इलेवन में बोलना इन थ्री कहां से हे राम फिफ्टीन कैसे हो थ्री प्लस इलेवन फोर्टीन कैरेक्टर्स आर स्टोर्ड फ्रॉम पोजिशन जीरो टिल थर्टीन और अभी फोर्टीन पोजीशन पे वैक्स लैस जीरो है बराबर है सो ओपीडी थ्री प्लस क्या लिखू मैं प्लस एन वन प्लस एन टू विल वर्क दैट इज प्लस थ्री प्लस इलेवन ओके सो ओपीडी थ्री प्लस एन वन प्लस एन टू इज इक्वल टू दैट ऑपरेटर एंड ओपीडी थ्री प्लस एन वन प्लस एन टू प्लस वन दैट इज एन थ्री इक्वल टू बैक स्लैश जीरो सो फिर ऑपरेटर यहां आ जाएगा बैक स्लैश जीरो विल बी पुट आफ्टर इट सो द पोस्ट फिक्स एक्सप्रेशन हैज बिन फॉर्म वंस यू फॉर्म दैट पोस्ट फिक्स ओरिजिनल टू ऑपरेंट्स आर ऑफ नो यूज बट देयर मेमरी वॉज एलोकेटेड बाय एस सो लेट एस फ्री दैट मेमरी एंड रिटर्न द पोस्ट फिक्स इट्स एड्रेस will be the function which will convert or rather connect operand 1 operand 2 and operator as a single string through the dynamic allocation so there won't be any wastage of memory those two operands will be now set free make a note to avoid the confusion example will always work Remember that we are going to store it from position zero. Huh? Length of the string is directly the position of backslash zero. So if the length of the string over here is n1 plus n2, backslash zero is at that position. Okay. So it is char star form underscore postfix into bracket. कैर स्टार ओपीडी वन कॉमा कैर स्टार ओपीआर कॉमा कैर स्टार ओपीडी टू ओपनिंग कली ब्रैकेट इंट एन वन एन टू एन थ्री सेमी कोलन कैर स्टार ओपीडी थ्री सेमी कोलन एन वन इक्वल टू एस टी आर एलियन ऑफ ओपीडी वन एन टू इक्वल टू एस टी आर एलियन ऑफ OPD टू एन थ्री विल बी एन वन प्लस एन टू प्लस वन बिकॉज इट हैज टू अकोमोडेट ऑपरेंट वन ऑपरेंट टू एज वेल एज वन ऑपरेटर 
that is effectively the length of operand 3 but the storage will be one more because you are required to storage uh, store the backslash 0 also so when we allocate the memory opd3 will be char star that is the type casted calloc statement to which we are going to say in 3 plus 1 comma size of char we will first copy operand 1 so it is str cpy opd3 comma opd1 then concat it by operand 2 So str cat opd3 comma opd2 and once this operand one operand two form one string, then the length of that string will be n1 plus n2. So at that position in opd3 we have backslash zero where we want to write the operator. So we say star into bracket opd3 plus n1 plus n2 bracket complete equal to that operator opr. And at the next position that is star of opd3 plus n3. will store backslash 0 so the postfix expression is generated and after that we'll free operand 1 we'll free operand 2 because they are no longer required and we'll return opd 3 the algorithm that i had shown you for the conversion of infix to postfix the decisions that we were saying wherever i have said that form postfix and push it to stk2 do jagah pe humne ye kaha tha at two places we have said form postfix and push it to stk2 one was when the priority is not less tab humne wo us operator ke liye do operands nikale the and we said form postfix and push it to stk2 and the second time when we received the closing bracket we have said that pop the operator pop two operands form postfix and push it to stk2 instead of saying form postfix if you just say form prefix the entire program will work as conversion of infix to prefix taaki kuch change nahi hai postfix form karke push karne ke bajaye form prefix and push it so now my interest will be to write a function form prefix dekh lo ab you don't have to write it fully actually what will be the length of that prefix it will be pehle operator fir operand 1 fir operand 2 matlab again n1 plus n2 plus 1 that will be the required length of the prefix expression so n1 n2 n3 calculate kiya allocate kiya memory now ye shan i will have to store first the operator so that can be stored as star opd3 first position pe operator and next position pe put backslash 0 jo hum two string mein kar rahe the wahi character operator likh diya aur usse string mein convert kar diya but the allocation is full zeroth position in opd3 will contain the operator jo ke prefix mein pehle position pe hota hai and the second position that is position 1 actually will contain backslash 0 once that operator string is formed you can just concat it by operand 1 and then concat it by operand 2 free operand 1 operand 2 return opd3 change in just four lines will convert this form postfix function to form prefix operator copy kar lo string mein convert karo use name should name of the function should be changed and change in the four statements here
एनी डाउट इन दिस अब चलो एक और फंक्शन लिखी देते हैं फॉर्म इनफिक्स जो अभी तो नहीं चाहिए हमें क्योंकि वी आर गिवन इनफिक्स एक्सप्रेशन बट बाद के दो असाइनमेंट्स हमारे ऐसे हैं पोस्टफिक्स टू इनफिक्स एंड प्रीफिक्स टू इनफिक्स वहां तो हमें वो प्रीफिक्स को इनफिक्स में कन्वर्ट करना पड़ेगा विच विल बी फुल्ली पेरेंथेसाइज मतलब अभी जो इनफिक्स हम जनरेट करेंगे उस वो हमेशा ब्रैकेट्स के अंदर ही होगा यू कैन नॉट हैव समथिंग लाइक दिस इसका फुल्ली पेरेंथेसाइज वर्जन कुछ ऐसे आता है आई एम सेइंग फुल्ली पेरेंथेसाइज वर्जन ये इसका फुल्ली पेरेंथेसाइज वर्जन है कितने ऑपरेटर्स थे हमारे पास सात क्योंकि ई सेवन तक हम गए थे सेवन ओपनिंग ब्रैकेट शुड बी देर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन हमेशा हर एक ब्रैकेट में यू विल हैव टू ऑपरेंट आइदर द सिंगुलर ऑपरेंट और अ ब्रैकेटेड ऑपरेंट जैसे हमारे पास पहले था ए माइनस बी माइनस सी इसको ब्रैकेट सी नहीं थे ओके दिस इज अ फुल्ली पेरेंथेसाइज वर्जन सो हम यहां पे देख सकते हैं कि ओवरऑल इट इज दिस ब्रैकेट माइनस दिस ब्रैकेट जो आपको फाइनल आंसर मिला था ई वन माइनस ई सिक्स ई सिक्स वॉज दिस इन टू दिस ओके सो दिस इज वॉट वी क्वालिटाइज फुल्ली पेरेंथेसाइज और जो हमारा फॉर्म इनफिक्स फंक्शन है दैट इज गोइंग टू डू द सेम जॉब कन्वर्टेड टू फुल्ली पैरेंथेसाइज फॉर्म सो आपके यहां हमेशा ऑपरेंट वन ऑपरेटर ऑपरेंट टू ब्रैकेट दिस इज द फुल्ली पैरेंथेसाइज फॉर्म व्हाट विल बी द डिजायर्ड लेंथ क्योंकि अब आपको ओपनिंग भी डालना है क्लोजिंग भी डालना है और ऑपरेटर तो पहले से डाला हुआ एन वन भी चाहिए एन टू प्लस वन प्लस वन प्लस वन सो अल्टीमेटली इट इज गोइंग टू बी प्लस थ्री दैट विल बी द एक्चुअल लेंथ वन फॉर ऑपरेटर टू फॉर ब्रैकेट एन वन लेंथ ऑफ फर्स्ट ऑपरेंट एन टू लेंथ ऑफ सेकेंड ऑपरेंट अलोकेट करते वक्त ऑफकोर्स नहीं सेम प्लस वन बैक स्लैश जीरो का What do you require at the first position? Opening bracket. So या तो आप character opening bracket copy करके उसे backslash zero से close कर सकते हो या फिर आप directly एस टी आर सी पी वाई ओपीडी थ्री बाय डबल कोट ओपनिंग ब्रैकेट सिंगल कोट ओपनिंग ब्रैकेट नहीं वो स्ट्रिंग नहीं है डबल कोट ओपनिंग ब्रैकेट से आप कॉपी कर सकते हो सो इट विल टर्न आउट टू बी ओपनिंग ब्रैकेट बैक स्लैश ओके दिस शुड बी कॉन्कैटनेटेड बाय ऑपरेंट वन सो उसके बाद आपका ऑपरेंट वन आ जाए ओके okay? यहां तक सपोज उसके बाद बैक्सलाइज जीरो जहां बैक्सलाइज जीरो है वहां आपको डालना है ऑपरेटर बता सकते हैं पोजीशन इट विल बी स्टार ऑफ OPD थ्री प्लस वन प्लस एन वन एन वन प्लस वन क्योंकि अभी आपके पास एक ये कैरेक्टर और अब ऑपर एन वन है दैट इज एन वन प्लस वन इज द लेंथ ऑफ दिस स्ट्रिंग सो बैक्सलाइज जीरो विल बी एट दैट पोजिशन ओनली सो इट विल बी ओपीडी थ्री प्लस एन वन प्लस वन पोजिशन पे कॉपी दैट ऑपरेटर एंड एट द नेक्स्ट पोजिशन पुट बैक स्लैश सो ऑपरेंट ऑपरेटर को भी कॉपी कर लिया देन कॉन्कैटेड बाय ऑपरेंट टू देन कॉन्कैटेड बाय ऑपरेंट टू एंड फाइनली कॉन्कैटेड बाय डबल कोर्ट क्लोजिंग ब्रैकेट अदरवाइज दो स्टेटमेंट्स आते हैं देखो ये ऑपरेटर अगर मेरे पास स्ट्रिंग में होता था तो आई वुड हैव डायरेक्टली कॉन्कैटेनेटेड 
ये तो कॉन्स्टेंट स्ट्रिंग है ऑपरेटर क्या है ये पता नहीं इसलिए हम डबल कोट्स प्लस से कॉन्कैक्ट नहीं कर सकते ऑपरेटर प्लस है या माइनस है या स्टार है पता होता था तो आई वु डायरेक्टली कॉन वो कोई भी ऑपरेटर होगा तो भी यही लॉजिक चलता है इसलिए वहां वेरिएबल को कॉपी करके बैक स्लैश जीरो से क्लोज करना पड़ेगा लेकिन ओपनिंग एंड क्लोजिंग ब्रैकेट आर द कॉन्स्टेंट स्ट्रिंग्स साइवी फाइनली से एस टी आर कैट ओपीडी थ्री बाय डबल कोट क्लोजिंग ब्रैकेट So a group of six statements and a change in n3 will have the third function form in fix and now we are almost ready to write all those six conversions effectively three and finally will turn out to be only two chhe programs logic do hi rahenge क्योंकि अभी मैंने आपको जैसे बता दिया कि इनफिक्स टू पोस्ट फिक्स एंड इनफिक्स टू प्रीफिक्स विल हैव ओनली वन चेंज पूरा लॉजिक वही है आप सिर्फ स्टैक टू में क्या डालते हो पोस्ट फिक्स डालते हो कि प्रीफिक्स डालते हो बस दो जगह पे फॉर्म पोस्ट फिक्स के बजाय फॉर्म प्रीफिक्स बोल दिया तो इट विल कन्वर्ट द इनफिक्स टू प्रीफिक्स ऑल्सो सिमिलरली पोस्ट टू इन पोस्ट टू प्री करते वक्त स्टैक में आप क्या डालते हो प्रीफिक्स डालते हो कि इनफिक्स डालते हो वन प्रोग्राम दोनों के लिए लेकिन ये तीन फंक्शन सही से याद होने चाहिए आपको इन तीनों में से कोई दो यूज होंगे इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग इज जहां मैंने समझ सकोगे क्या क्या कहेंगे हाँ जहां मैंने फॉर्म पोस्टफिक्स बोला था वहां पे अगर मेरा इनपुट तो अब भी इनफिक्स ही है वहां अगर फॉर्म इनफिक्स बोल दिया मैंने अभी जो मैंने पूरा लॉजिक लिखवाया था दैट वॉज द एम वॉज इनफिक्स टू पोस्टफिक्स करे या इनफिक्स टू प्रीफिक्स वो तो हमने मान लिया मान लो कि उसी में पोस्टफिक्स या प्रीफिक्स करने के बजाय मैंने कहा फॉर्म इनफिक्स एंड इफ आई एग्जीक्यूट द प्रोग्राम तो इस इनपुट के लिए यू विल गेट दिस आउटपुट फुल्ली पेरेंथिस गिवन एन एक्सप्रेशन You can convert it to fully parenthesized form. Same logic. Instead of form postfix or prefix, call form infix only. और ये input दिया तो ये output मिलेगा जो कि properly brackets डाल के आएगा That's where we'll stop today. Friday we will complete this topic try to on that day i will again revise the logic and we will write the complete function also that entire function will be basically a switch case which are cases to dikhane